Here's a 1987 Detroit Black Journal episode about housing discrimination in the city. Hi, y'all, DBJ, go ahead. Yes, I've had some experiences and in casual conversation have discovered that there are some experience of this type of discrimination beginning to develop in the downtown area as it becomes more gentrified. And I'm very curious about their experience about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, and while we do that, you too, uh, not only did you get angry once you filed your suit, but you in fact have joined uh, the uh, Fair Housing Center's board. Yes, I have. So you too have been looking into this uh, kind of discrimination that's going on uh, across the way. Let me see if I can put that to you in, in those. Do you find that the new developments that are going uh, up downtown have been ones that uh, whites are being steered to? I haven't had experience. Okay. Maybe one of the other Marvin, is, is that true? Um, we haven't conducted any studies uh, in that area. Uh, we have uh, investigated a number of places downtown and have gotten evidence and have went to court against them, but we haven't done any studies right now to really pick up, so I can't really say right now whether or not... Jeff, what going. about that? Are they pricing themselves out of the black market? I, I would think it would be more of an economic form of discrimination downtown, and uh, obviously it's, a, it's just a numbers game. You know, you look at the uh, average disposable income by a black, and it's one figure, and you look at it from a white perspective. Do, so do you I think, think that's a conscious effort, though? <laughs> And not I, by all. Now, we don't want, you know, we don't want to, to say everybody's doing that, but... I would say send my unconscious. Mm -hmm. And I say that only because they're trying to get a, a balance, a more equalized balance. And by doing that, they know if they raise the price, oftentimes in supply and demand, the higher the price, then the fewer people who will actually come and get the product. And, and the person who want and can afford the product, then that's the, the client or the customer that you want. So I think from a reverse point of view, that's what's happening, say, in a downtown area right now.